Hi everyone, welcome. This is Amber with Mythic Info and I am here with Dub from Dub's Treasure Store. We are redoing a battle that we did last time, but we are switching decks. Last time Dub played Slesla, Slesna Surge and I played Rakdos Raid. Well, I'm going to be playing Ra the Surge and he'll be playing the Raid. The Le Surge? Slesna Surge? And I'll be well, playing Rakdos Raid? Yes. I was just going for the short. Since splurge yeah and then after so. this it'll be the official the official uh, conclusion to go on the preliminary battle dry race board review we should call it that we should call it the battle review board mm -hmm. forget the dry race shit anyways um, and then after we're gonna do something new after this battle, when we get the official results, then we're going to draft in the two, or I mean the four, booster packs into the decks. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa, what was that? My TV is freaking out. Alright, so you are using the populate mechanic. You'll need counters. Where did the other dice go? Oh, I bought a gate crash fat pack. I want to open some more boosters on camera. I guess let's start shuffling so we can go ahead and play. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, you have the iPod behind you. Grab that so we can mm -hmm. set the life counter. Okay. Grab it so I can turn it on. Let me see. Well, I don't know how I switched you. I don't know how I put you upside down. <laughs> That's odd. Yep. Well, oh well. Oh yes, we have to shuffle these really well because uh, we played with them and pre-constructed decks always have too much lands in them. Okay, well, this is still pretty close to being a good unboxing video. I mean, because these are still near mint, mint. We just pulled them out and did the unboxing video one last night. And uh, we made a fatal error, really, I think, that affected the game severely. Because we couldn't be 100% sure what happened where we were. I mean, we... We were 100% sure all in the mistake, but I mean, like, the consequences of not being able to remember how far back and stuff like that. So, we're just going to redo. And we might as well, I said, you know, it'd be cool maybe to switch it up instead of both of us play the same exact game. Maybe we'll do something different, us playing the different, like, you know, some, how I'd play the Lesnar Surge, maybe she'll play it completely different. 
and how sh how she would play this. Oh, why did I just hold on? Why did I draw and then shuffle my deck? That's messed up. <laughs> Can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Mix it up somewhere. Yeah, I didn't even offer you to cut my deck. But let me see if I got a good hand. Yeah, I got a good hand. All right, so that was my foot. Oh. All right, you ready? Oh yeah, so let's roll for highest to see who goes first. I rolled a 20. I can re-roll that if you want. You rolled a 2. I rolled a 10. Okay. Alright, I'll go first. I'll lay down a mountain. Tap it to play, which what you should have played on the very first turn. Rakdos Crackler. Mm -hmm. And I will unleash it, which means he's a 2-2 two -two and he cannot block. All right, go. So that's pretty cool. One mana for a two-two. I'm gonna attack you on the second turn with. It's your turn. Up in here. I lay down a forest, and all right, your turn. I'll untap and draw a card. And I'll lay down a swamp and tap it to cast a Deviant Glee, which is an enchantment or I'll enchantment or giving Deviant Glee and will enchant Rectos Crackler, giving it two plus one, so I'll just give it two counters. So now it's a four three and I can pay one red mana and it gains trample for that turn. So it's a four three, I'll attack you for four damage. Putting you at 16 on the second turn. Yikes. Oh. That's pretty bad. 16 to 20. Go. On the second turn? That's pretty nasty. I'm <laughs> laying down a plate and tapping both that and the forest to. to summon Bush Strider, which is a creature and it has Vigilance. Nice. And... That can kill me. Oh crap, I didn't draw all of that. And... That is it, your turn. I'll lay another black. And I'll I'm gonna this is gonna be really dick. I'm gonna tap one black and put Crippling Blight on your 3-1 Vigilance. Enchanted Creature can't block, and Enchanted Creature gets negative one, negative one. Killing it. Mm -hmm. For one mana, killing a creature is pretty cool. That's pretty mean. And then I will tap one red mana to give it Trample for the turn and attack you for four, just for the fun of it. Twelve to twenty. That's just nasty. We're gonna be replaying. I know. I'm being really mean. That's ridiculous. Your turn. That. But see, I'm showing you what you could have done. You could have did I that know. to me. You had him on the first turn. You don't hear me grappling, do you? No, I'm saying. I, mean, I know. It's the face you gave me. I'm just saying. That's what you could have done to me the first turn. So see, you're learning from that. For sure.
I gotta change the lighting. Ah, oh, we need a drop cord. Okay. Um, I'm laying down. Slesna Gilded Gilgate. Gildick, <laughs> Gilded Dick. <laughs> no, I was not gonna say that. And here's the battlefield tap. So I'm gonna tap all three to summon Centaur Corsa 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 Corsa. 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 It's a three three mm -hmm. this time. Yes. Nice, nice. All right, I'll untap my Schnaznet. Draw, and I'll lay down a mount hand. And this is not gonna be nice either. I'm gonna tap one black. I have to do it early though. And two, and two colorless. One black and two colorless. So three mana to cast a mine rot. Target player discards two cards. Oh, I know that really hurts. Yeah, that hurts. See his mind rot? He's got like a hole eaten in his head. <laughs> okay, I'm discard. I've got the two I'm discarding. What? Do I reveal them or not? Well, they go to your graveyard. Mm. Okay, and then I'll pay one met. I'll attack with the Rakdos Crackler and pay one red mana to give it trample. It's important you do it like that. So on the stack, it goes trample and then attack. Okay. So you can block with your centaur. Mm -hmm. And you'll kill my Rectos Crackler, finally. But you'll still take one damage, because he has three health. And I do four damage, but I have three health. So his three attack kills my three health. But I can still cast the instant, right? You don't have any mana left. It took three mana to cast oh, yeah. him. But just for future reference, I can still cast the instant at this point. And during too. anybody's turn, yeah. during any phase. Okay. I told you that. That's why creatures with mm -hmm. flash means creatures can be uh, cast or summoned as yeah. if you can cast a instant spell during anybody's phase in the turn. Turn phase. Okay, I'll just take the damage. Why? You don't need to take four more damage. You need to kill him and get rid of him. I okay. think. I mean, your 3-3 can finally kill it. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so you still take one damage, though. Because, see, you were just getting pummeled. So, 20 to 11, and they both die. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now it's your turn. I, yeah, I was wreaking terrible damage on you there. Discarded you. I hit you hard. You got fucked up. I made none of planes. And. Well, remember, this can make green or white right here. Yeah, that's not the problem. For me. You can't make any more creatures for four mana? Cat. Obviously, you got spells in there. You got some kind of spell or something. Okay, since it's an instant. Let's see. Tapping three mana, four mana. Put one one white bird creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Then populate. Okay. So where's my here's my token deck. You get a one one bird. One one bird, and then you populate. So now you got two one one birds. But if you got a bunch of tokens, they pop repopulate. Mm -hmm. They have six all over the place. <laughs> See, I actually thought there before I I jumped the gun. I thought for once. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> all right, good. I'll untap everything and draw a card. 
Actually, this is a pretty good game. And I'll draw, lay a swamp. And then I'll tap to play Tormented Soul. It's a 1-1 one, one, uh, unblockable that cannot block. And I will say go. Okay. So I can still hit you for one damage now every turn, finally. I shouldn't say finally. I'm, thankfully, I can keep doing some damage. Like, I just went, and now I'm like, meh. Really, we're going really slow. And she's just like steadily chugging and chugging and chugging and chugging, 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 taking the damage, taking the damage. Toot, toot. <laughs> I am mm -hmm. casting Rootborn Defense, which is populate creatures you control are indestructible this turn. Well, that's silly, but you can keep repopulating. Mm -hmm. Put a token on the battlefield that's a copy of a creature token you control. So I guess you need to populate again. Mm hmm Yeah. So now you got three one one flyers that are indestructible this turn. So you can attack me with all three. Doing three damage. It's flying, I can't block it. Sorry. You wanted to do it? Here you can do <laughs> you it. You wouldn't let me you do, do it. it. I like to I okay. like to turn my own cards well, thank you. you. Okay, gotcha. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Seventeen to eleven. Seven eleven. Seventeen to eleven. Alright. Anything else? Before you're done? No. Alright, I'll untap. Draw a card. And I'll pay it. Three mana. Hellhole Flailer. Unleash. No, uh, I don't want to unleash it. Yeah. But then it's a 3 2 that can't. Yeah, let's unleash it. Alright, so now it's a 4 3. And I'll attack you with my one tormented soul. Can't block it. No. Seventeen to ten. Go. Okay. Putting down another plane and Attacking. Okay. Fourteen. Nothing? No. Rakdos Guildgate enters the battlefield tapped. And then I will attack you for one and four. So that's five damage. So putting you at five. And then... I will pay four mana to sacrifice Hellhole Flailer, and he deals damage equal to its power to target player. So you take an additional four damage, putting you at one. So next turn you lose when you take the damage from the Tormented Soul. Your go. Unless somehow you could kill me now. Tapping. So. Ah! Alright, I fixed it. Summon Phantom General. Cre creature tokens you control get one plus one. Okay, wow. So. Let's see, now you got three tokens. You can just flip the tokens over so we know the tech. Okay, so that's a creature. It's just a creature. And then creature tokens mm -hmm. you control. So they're all now two twos. Mm -hmm. So that's six damage. Two, four, six. So, like, when you attack, that's, let's mm -hmm. see, two, four, six. Yes, yeah, six damage. Yes. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. I'll take six damage. Eight. And then, yeah, die next turn. You would kill me next turn. See, you built up right there. See if you could go first. I think that your games would be so different. Well, the luck of the wall. That, uh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> well, game's over. I couldn't play Minotaur Aggressor. It's a 6 2 first strike haste, but it's 7 mana. But I can play this. 
for five. Uh, four, three, zombie giant. That's it. And then attack you for one, and then you die. What do you get next? I got a land. Okay, I would have gotten the planes, and I had a plane, and an that instant. <laughs> okay. So, let's restart the cameras. Actually, no, we'll keep it going. But, let's draft the two uh, booster packs. Okay. And if you want, since you lost, I'll give you the option to switch decks. Alright, I'm going to reset the overall camera. I kind of like this one better than the Rectus Raid. You like the Slesna Surge better than the Rectus Raid? Mm hmm Why? I just... Alright, so this is the first time on screen, guys, that we have dra drafted the booster packs into any of the decks. Obviously, we like these two decks the most that we've played so far. So we're gonna draft them. Pull out your mm -hmm. pull. This is how we're gonna do the draft. Pull out your two booster packs. All right, and go ahead and open them. But open them nice and clean, mm -hmm. you know, if you can. Oops, I messed up this pack. Okay, and then don't look at them yet. You want me to help you? I'm trying to open it without sending the pack, the cards. Here you do. That's how you do it, right there, just like that. Yeah, that's what I was trying you to gotta do. You got to put your thumb over it like that. Yeah. Yeah, but. And then kind of peel it off like that. And there's my second one. You can just say, here's your mm -hmm. first. And then put your second one in there. See. Okay, let's see. Okay, you're good. Alright. So, now what we're going to do is you pick up one, right? And you get to look through it and pick out one card, and then mm -hmm. we switch. I give okay. you mine, and you give me your pack. Okay? So you're thinking you're picking out cards that would be best to swap out or just plain out add to your Slesna Surge. Mm -hmm. So you get to go look through your first pack. Yeah, I'll put this one to the side and pick out one card, and then you pass it. It can be anything. Yes, you can choose the rares, but let's do it like this. Go ahead and take your rare out, mm -hmm. right, and put your rare here. So we'll have four rares. Because let's say that we don't pick the rares yet. Rares always in the back. Okay. Land. Okay. And mine was an enchantment. Alright, now, now you can go through and pick out the card you'd like. If you want if it want if you want it to pick a land, then you can, but that's silly. Well, it didn't have a whole lot for me, so I'm going to pick, okay, now you don't, see you're not supposed, to, well, you don't want to show me the card you pick, that's the okay. thing, so that's why you don't, don't go through it like that, hold them in your hand, and just say I pick this card, and go down like that, and then I pass it to you, and now you pass it to me. So, hoodie. Hoodie, hoodie. And we do it eight times, I think. That's what it is. Okay. So, this is pass one.
because there might be cards in both of these packs that totally don't go with our deck, so like we won't use them. Mm -hmm. like, we don't have to use them. You can completely pass on a pass. Let well, me know on turn phase if you want. Say, um... I already picked my one card. Hurry, woman. Now, this is pass number two, and then we'll switch to the second pack. Okay, I picked my card. Where you put it? Where's your card that you picked? Put it right here, so people can see. All right, now here's the deck back to you, and leave leave yours there and put my deck or my pack over here. Okay. Cause we're gonna switch packs now. Or maybe it's six passes. It's either six or eight passes. I can't remember. I know it's not Swiss four. Not a lot of good stuff in the booster packs. Hopefully the next booster packs will be better. But there's a lot of green in mine, so you should have a lot of choice. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of green in the other one. Okay, now let's switch to the other booster packs and get to pick one. Oh, and pull, go all the way to the back and pull out the rare. See, that's definitely for Slesna Surge right there. Look, Trosna, Sledge's, or uh, Slesna's voice. I think you got it. Yeah, you got Slesna's, like, man, Slesna's main <laughs> druid. 2-5, legendary creature, Dryad. So it's Trostina, wait. Trostani, Slesna's voice. I have a, a, the, um. Wait, right here. Pack rare. Rakdos's return. Yeah, the, um. Uh, the a mythic one. rare. Yeah, mythic rare. Yeah, awesome. Mythic okay, rare. wow. So I got a mythic rare for my deck, and she got a legendary creature for her deck. Awesome. Yours says it's a 2-5. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Holy mm. shit. And then pay three mana and populate. Holy wow. crap. And she's a 2-5. Wow, that's just as good as a Planeswalker almost. Okay, Rakdos's return says... Rakdos's return deals X damage to target opponent. That player discards X cards, and it's 2 mana and then X. Whoa. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. It's like a, a little more expensive fireball that's got a discard effect. Okay, so now pick your card. Pick your card. So now see, normally it'd be more fierce if all four of these cards affected both of our decks or if like there was two cards here that I wanted and the two cards here that she wanted that these rounds of picking the rares go in our eight turns. So that's also, you have to keep that in mind. Because if you've picked all the cards you want out of the two packs at seven turns then you only get to pick one rare. You see what I'm saying? You gotta mm -hmm. leave two turns to pick both of the rares if you want them. Or if there was like three rares that you wanted, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so like what what we do over the rares to add more competition is you roll dice to see get the rare. If we if it's a tie thing. Like we both want the rare. Or like gotta fight for it some way. And that's just some crazy ass house rules we made. So this is turn three.
Yeah, I think I picked the card I want. Oh, look, another bird token for your mm -hmm. deck. Sweet. Uh. Okay, I picked my card. Deck to you. Oh, another mm -hmm. bird token. Sweet. This is perfect for your deck. Sweet. Look at all the bird tokens. We got a griffin and three bird tokens now. Okay. Alright, now there's your this there's the new pack. New pack to me. Now this is turn four. Hell yeah. Alright. <laughs> you saw what I'm picking, right? I, I mean you know what pretty I'm pretty much of a good idea. That, I mean I'll just look through it through the pack, but I'm pretty sure that's who I'm gonna pick. <laughs> A playset of the Cracklers is going to be awesome. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Why not? Alright, and I'll pass it back to you. I'm done. Look at this green. Hey, Lo, you have green in your deck, though. Look mm -hmm. at this enchantment. Mana Bloom enters the battlefield with X charge counters on it. Remove a charge counter from Mana Bloom. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Activate this only ability only once per turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Mana Bloom has no charge counters on it, return it to its owner's hand. So you pay one green mana and then dump a crap load of mana into Mana Bloom. And then, and then when it's done, you return it to your hand and then do it again. So it's pretty sweet. <laughs> You might want that. So, we're definitely going to go for the rares on turn five, because there's only three turns left. So, after, like, turn at turn five, you get to pick from anything now. The rares or the two packs. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, so you hand me the pack back. Now, this is turn five, so you get to pick anything now, the rares or this. But So you definitely want to go ahead and get your rare, and I'm going to get my rare. So grab it. Now, there's three turns left. What do you want to do? I'm going to pick, like, you could pick that rare again, and then, like, if we both wanted it, we'd have to roll for it, but I don't, mm -hmm. I can't have it. So... I think I'm going to pick from here again, which I think I messed up. Well, well, I'll pick that. So my turn five is done. Okay. So, turn six. I'll pick from that. So switch with me. What are you gonna pick from? I'll pick that. That's a good pack. And now seven. And you don't have to, but it just gives you the turns. I'd pick from this one, I think. And I'd get this guy. So, and then turn eight. I don't think I need anything else. If I were to just go through it. I think I'm going to keep it just like this. Alright, so you get two more picks and then that's it if you want. You don't have to. Now the task is to go through your decks, go through your decks, and remove the stuff to make it fit. Because I would keep it at 60 cards. Because mm -hmm. if, if you're 65 and I'm 60, I'll be faster than you. Okay. I got that one.
So now, I would replace the cards that are most priority, like that you need the most, oops, in your deck. Like, because mm -hmm. you got to take cards out to replace. Mm -hmm. So I would re take out the cards that are least, like, the least important and put replace the most important to the least important down. So I gotta find five cards to replace. There's one. Two. Two six. Wait, one, two, three, four. Remember, you can remove a land, too. Like, you could remove a land or two, actually. Remove, like, two lands. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I think I'm good to go. I think I'm gonna put more hate spells in it. Okay. I think I removed all the cards I want to remove. I remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, I'm gonna count my deck. Make sure I'm sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Fifty-eight. Okay, I count of fifty-eight. Hmm.
60, 60 on the money. I knew I miscounted. All right, so I got 60 right on the money. I replaced eight cards. I definitely, will, <coughs> I definitely think this added some severe consistency that it needed. I'm gonna count my lands while she's still going through. Well, this is my first draft, so it's probably going to be a little bit crappy anyway. No, this is not your first draft. You did the Dragon's Maze pre-release tournament draft. Yeah, that draft one. Th I mean, one on my own without being, like, time. Or rushed. There's still 21 lands in here. So I removed, there's still 21 lands. Look, I removed three lands and two artifacts that made lands. Cost three mana, but they made lands and they turned into a creature. So I removed five, five cards, five cards that were mana production. They had 21, 22, 23, 24. They had 24 lands in this pre-constructed deck, which is crazy. So since we're done drafting, we'll put all the cards on top of mm -hmm. each other, except the rare will be facing on the top. And then I'm going to shuffle, I'll be ready. I'm ready. You can cut my deck now. I'm excited to play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Where is she going? Shiitake. All right. We will turn the cameras off and take a break while she finishes. And when we come back, we will be ready to play the Enhanced Selesna Surge versus the Rakdos Raid. And we are back from our break. We've done our drafting. So we are ready to go again. We are playing Slesla Surge. Slesla Surge. Which is me. Versus Rakdos Raid, which is Dubs. Yep. For the third time. <laughs> yeah. But, okay, so Rakdos Raid won, which is what we said. Woo! You almost beat me the game when you played. That deck is strong. I know. So now their decks are even stronger now. So. Are you going to cut my deck? I'm going to cut yours. Oops. Oh, you're going to cut it like that? I see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't be nice all the time because you're not nice all the time. So you lost. You get to pick first if you want to go first or if you want to go second. I believe I want to go first. Well, you can I'm look at your hand first. I'm gonna. You get to look at your hand first and see. <laughs> you never know. Depending on your hand, you might want to go second. That's why I always want to look first. Smiley face. Which you're always getting on to me for that. Well, it's kind of a smiley this face. This is crazy. This is a crazy hand to keep on, but I'll keep it. Ooh, guys, is he going risky? <laughs> okay. I'll say go. I mean, I'll say, I mean, are you going to go first or go second? Because I'll say I'm ready to go. Are you keeping your hand? Yeah, and I will go second. You're going to go second? I'd mm. go first. I'd go first. 
Alright then, I'll go first. I'm laying down the forest. Here I go. I will lay down a swamp and tap it to play a Rakdos Crackler and I'll unleash it. It's a 2-2 two, two for one. Go. What are you doing? It went blank. And... I will lay down a plane. And... You go. I'll untap. And lay down a mountain. And tap both to play a ravenous, ravenous rats. It's a one-one. When it comes into play, discard a card, and then I'll attack you for two damage. And you go to eighteen, and you have to discard a card. <laughs> Sorry, that's pretty mean. This deck's mean. <laughs> Got to discard a card. Bye bye. Take care then. Bye bye now. <laughs> and she discards a card. And I'm giving him literally the evil eye right now. And it is your turn. <laughs> hmm. This is disgusting. <laughs> Excuse me a while if you heard that. Or Whoa. in Italian, excuse. I'm laying down a forest and I am tapping two four for Centaur Corsair. Well, actually, sorry people, it's three, not two. I jumped That's what I thought. Gun. Alright, so it's a 3-3 three, three centaur. Yes. And that will be your turn. I figured. <laughs> you messed up my plan, thank you very much. Well, I really can't do anything, so I'll tap one black swamp to put Crippling Blight on him. He's a now a 2-2 two, two, and he can't block. He 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 he. <laughs> <laughs> not what you think it was. It was a mouth sound. <laughs> and I'll take you for two and three damage. Putting you at fifteen. How's that go? <laughs> I know you're giving me the worst no, I, I don't care how they're ending up as long as they're turning <laughs> because I'm literally shooting fire out of my eyes at you. <laughs> Even though you can't see it, I'm doing it. <laughs> Tappy four. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> that was just a nose snort, people. Hey, where, where did it go? Right there. Where did what go? Okay, I have that card somewhere. I'm getting mana screwed. She's got four mana, I only got two. Oh, there it went. <laughs> I took out too much mana. I found it. What? I am summoning Healer of the Pride. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain two life. <laughs> wow. Whenever another creature? Yeah. But that butt you in the butt. <laughs> wow. So whenever any creature comes into play, you gain two life. That's messed up. Under your control. Alright, so you're going to want to attack with your 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> I'm at 18 and 15. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I got a mountain, <laughs> finally, I'm gonna do something. <laughs> okay. I will t pay three mana and I put Splattering Thug into play. And I will unleash him. So now he is a 3-3 with first strike, and he can't block. And then I will attack you for... Never mind. I guess I can't do shit. Well, this is the guy, only guy that can do shit. Oh, and you just gained two life. Yeah. Uh, no, under... It says under your control. 
That means my control. Oh, okay, yeah, so you don't gain life off mine. Alright. See? My bad. I'm bloody. I misread it. Dang honest. Okay, 18 to 15. Yeah, you shouldn't have said anything, but I would have caught it eventually. Alright, so I'll say go. I'm tapping, drawing. I wonder what's the difference between a devil and a demon. Because it says creature, devil, and then it versus a demon. It seems like demons are more powerful than creatures. I mean, than devil creatures. Which wouldn't make sense. Sorry. How um, could a demon creature be more powerful than a devil creature? One, two, and three. That's four. Oh, I. Oh, well, I didn't mean to turn that other one. Hey, zoom in the camera a little bit. On Zoom in your angle a little bit. Careful. Whoa. No, zoom out. Zoom out. I'm zoom zooming out. out. I'm zooming out. Okay, now go back in easy. Whoa. I'm going to move my... Go in a little bit more. Just a tiny, tiny bit more. Do it easy and it'll do it super... If you do it super easy, it'll go super slow. So you can get the... No. Yeah. I I think zoom in like a tad bit more. I think that's good. Okay, here, I'll do it. Obviously, you can't. You there, there, I got no, it. No, 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 I got no. it. Look. Here, watch this. This is how you zoom in. I'm going to do it upside down. Zoom out. Now, this yeah. is how you zoom in super. Hold on. This is how you zoom in super nice and easy. See that? Look at mm -hmm. that. Let's go in about right there, like that. And we'll go up a tiny bit. So you can see the battlefield. All right. Good. And I'm going to cast, or no, not cast, summon Wayfaring Temple, which is a creature and is an elemental, so I get two life. And what is the thing, the new creature? Wayfaring, tem Wayfaring Temple's power and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control, which is two. So it's a two-two, people. Okay. Well, I won't know. I bet it includes itself. No. Yes. Because it's a creature. You control one, two, three creatures, so it's a three-three. Oh. Okay. Whenever Wayfaring Temple deals combat damage to a player, you get to populate. Wow. Very nice. Okay, um, but you don't have any counters now. Well, it. Two, three, three. Alright. Um, and this one. Um, no, it's my turn. Okay. Are you still going? Yeah, you tapped everything. Well, it was three mana, so you got two mana left. Are you going to do anything else? Because I drew I'm a card. Going... So this is the card that I drew for the Okay, game. I'm going to attack. So basically, Wait, we went okay. back because she said go, but we're going to go back because there's still stuff she needed to do in that turn. Okay, can't block, so it can still yeah, attack. You, because it can't block, you should attack every turn if you yeah. can. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I it's a 2-2. Two, two. You got a 2-3 coming at me. Okay. So the Crackler will block your Centaur. They both die. Okay, and then the... Okay, this force is... Oh, wait. No, I unleash them. I can't block. Go back. Go back. What? I unleash. We. This is the same problem we did the very first game. I unleash these two guys. They can't block. Duh. Oh my so, god. Um. Okay, hold on. Go back. You attack. See, wow. Yes. I'm glad we caught this mistake. We almost did it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy <laughs> she. Whoa. Okay. Wow, we're dumbasses. Okay, hold on. So you're attacking me with uh, five damage total. These two guys can't block. So the one one. 
ravenous rats will block the two whatever. Huh. Yeah, and I'll take two I'll take two damage. So you gained two life and I took two damage. But then you're wide open, now I get to attack you with these two guys next turn. So you're done. And then I would draw a card, which would be this card. Okay. Which was this? So, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I will tap three mana to summon a hellhole flailer, and I'm going to unleash it. So now it's a four three. It's a four three. And I will say go. Okay. Oh, I fucked up. I was supposed to attack. You want me to take that back? Okay. Yeah. So that's three damage and two damage, so you take five damage. Oh, yeah, do you want to block with your 3-3 three, three on anything, though? This is a 2-2, two, two, and this is a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, and this has first strike, though. So if your 3-3 three, three blocks this 3-3, three, three, he dies, mm. and he doesn't. <laughs> but the 3-3 three, three can kill the 2-2. Two, two. Okay. So then you take 3 damage, actually. 16 to 14. Okay, You're good. I, okay. You gotta untap the centaur. Yeah. Too. Uh, so I can attack with this guy that does 4 damage, and he's got 3 health, and then explode him by sacrificing him, basically. And then he'll deal 4 damage, too. Target player. If I got the mana, which I don't own. Okay, Okay, I am tapping two, three. To summon Seller of Songbirds. She's a creature. Whenever Seller of Songbirds it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one white bird creature token with flying into the battlefield, and I gain two life. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> yes. 16 to 16. Oh, you get your bird token. Yeah. That's... Now... Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, you get to populate on the token. Mm -hmm. Basically, you start pooping this <laughs> out. Mm -hmm. And I will attack the centaur. You can attack with the bird, too, because it's a token. Card. Okay. The... We bring to four and... So, then. basically, hold on. He, you now get, he is now a one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. He's a I five, guess. five. Which really sucks. Well, I have to take all this damage because I can't block anything. So two, three, five, and then ten damage. Ow, I'm at six health. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Holy crap. So basically, it's like, I gotta kill you before you kill me. <laughs> You're so messed up. I got mana screwed. I, I took out too much mana in my deck. <laughs> That's stupid. Well, you're the one that's, te that's teaching me how to play, so... You, you eat what you get. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll tap three mana. And annihilating fire, I will destroy this creature. Annihilating fire just deals three damage to target creature, and if a creature would die this way, exile it instead. So it gets exiled. Ah! So, it's, and then I will attack you. Oh, so now he goes down to a four four. And then I will attack you with ah! four damage and three damage. Damn it. So that's seven. Six to nine. I'll d I still will die probably next turn. 
Oh, and when he deals damage to me, you get to populate. So he was he be, that became two tokens. All right, your turn. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm tapping. I'm tapping four for Course of Might, which is till end of turn target creature gets one plus one for each creature you control and gains trample. And I will put that on the Wayfaring Temple. So it's a one plus one for each creature you control, which makes it a ten. Uh, I don't know if that will stack on that, because it already has that ability. Okay. Well, yeah, no, you would give that to another creature. Okay, then I would... Because he's already getting okay. one, two, three, yeah, because four. He, okay. He's already yeah, four, four. He's, so he's if open. you give that to another creature, yeah. it'll get four plus one, one counters. Then... Oops. Oh, the memory must be full. The memory must be full in this game. The card is full. Where's the other okay. card? The other card's in the bag, I believe. Really? Where's the other Where's the camera bag? Or look on your table. I did. Oh, everything is such a mess. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put it on the centaur. Okay, so now you're going on the centaur? Yes. Alright, so the centaur will get four counters. Yes. So, wait, it's a 2-2, two -two, so right now it is a 6-6. Six -six. No, it's a 3-3, three, three, isn't it? No, because this minus is 1, so it's oh, a 2-2 two, two oh. plus 4. Makes oh, okay. it a 6-6. Six, six. Which I cannot find the 6. Here's the 6 on There it is right there. Okay. Actually, that's the 6. Alright, so it's a 6-6. Six, six. You're talking with that, what else? Well, I'm dead. Because there's 6 <laughs> right, damage right there. 7-8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then you populate. Yeah, I'm dead. That sucks. Alright, I need to fix this deck again. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't totally. The Rectos deck yeah. won. And now annihilate me this time. Alright, so what needs to happen is I need to get one of my red lands back in this deck. and take something out. Alright, so shall we play again? If you, want. you want to swap decks? No, I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> I really do, I like it. Alright, so we'll do the best two out of three. This is the final game, because I won the first one. She just won that one. So whoever went the out of the official three that we've done. That at, I mean at the at, out of the official three that we will do. The first one doesn't count. Because in total we're gonna end up playing four games. So we'll mm -hmm. take the best two out of three, starting with this the game previously. So before we normally just play. So that was two. So this will be the third battle. So whoever wins this will be the champion for the preliminary tournament because now we'll know for sure after being enhanced so that's why I was shuffling it really good because it matters oh you're going to do a legacy shuffle on me? yeah I'll just do a triple
Oh, that's a token. The thing you found that. <laughs> How did you find that? The bag of it's different. Oh, good deal. So I lost, so I'd get to choose, but we'll roll since it's the last one. You can cut my deck. So we'll have four rares. Because let's say that we don't pick the rares yet. Rares always in the back. Okay. Land. Okay. And mine was an enchantment. Alright, now, now you can go through and pick out the card you'd like. If you want it, if it want, if you want it to pick and land, then you can. But that's silly. Well, it didn't have a whole lot for me, so I'm going to pick, okay, now you don't, see you're not supposed, to, well, you don't want to show me the card you pick, that's the okay. thing, so that's why you don't, don't go through it like that, hold them in your hand, and just say I pick this card and go down like that, and then I pass it to you, and now you pass it to me. So, hoodie. Hoodie, hoodie. And we do it eight times, I think. That's what it is. Okay. So, this is pass one. Because there might be cards in both of these packs that totally don't go with our deck, so like we won't use them. Mm -hmm. like, we don't have to use them. You can completely pass on a pass. Well, I mean, on a turn phase, if you want. Say, um... I already picked my one card. Hurry, woman. This is pass number two, and then we'll switch to the second pack. Okay, I picked my card. Where you put it? Where's your card that you picked? Put it right here, so people can see. All right, now here's the deck back to you, and leave leave yours there and put my deck or my pack over here. Okay. Cause we're gonna switch packs now. Or maybe it's six passes. It's either six or eight passes. I can't remember. I know it's not Swiss four.
Not a lot of good stuff in the booster packs. Hopefully the next booster packs will be better. But there's a lot of green in mine, so you should have a lot of choice. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of green in the other one. Okay, now let's switch to the other booster packs. And get to pick one. Oh, and pull, go all the way to the back and pull out the rare. See, that's definitely for Slesna's Surge right there. Look, Trosna, Sledge's, or uh, Slesna's voice. I think you got it. Yeah, you got Slesna's, like, man, Slesna's main <laughs> druid. 2 5, legendary creature, Dryad. So it's Trostina, wait. Trostani, Slesna's voice. I have a, a, the, um. Wait, right here. Pack rare. Rakdos's return. Yeah, the, um. Uh, the a mythic one. rare. Yeah, mythic rare. Yeah. Awesome. Not okay, not wow. Rare. So I got a mythic rare for my deck, and she got a legendary creature for her deck. Awesome. Yours says it's a 2 5. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Holy mm. shit. And then pay 3 mana and populate. Holy wow. crap. And she's a 2-5. Wow, that's just as good as a Planeswalker on this. Okay, Rakdos's Return says... Rakdos's Return deals X damage to target opponent. That player discards X cards, and it's 2 mana and then X. Whoa. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. It's like a, a little more expensive fireball that's got a discard effect. Okay, so now pick your card. Pick your card. So, see, normally it'd be more fierce if all four of these cards affected both of our decks or if, like, there was two cards here that I wanted and the two cards here that she wanted, that these rounds of picking the rares go in our eight turns. So that's also, you have to keep that in mind. Because if you've picked all the cards you want out of the two packs at seven turns, then you only get to pick one rare. You see what I'm saying? you got to mm -hmm. leave two turns to pick both of the rares if you want them. Or if there was like three rares that you wanted, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so like what what we do over the rares to add more competition is you roll dice to see get the rare. If we if it's a tie thing. Like we both want the rare. Or like gotta fight for it some way. And that's just some crazy ass house rules we made. So this is turn three. Yeah, I think I picked the card I want. Oh, look, another bird token for your mm -hmm. deck. Sweet. Uh. Okay, I picked my card. Deck to you. Oh, another mm -hmm. bird token. Sweet. This is perfect for your deck. Sweet. Look at all the bird tokens. We got a griffin and three bird tokens now. Okay. Whoa. All right, now there's your this. There's the new pack. New pack to me. Now this is turn four. Hell yeah! All right. <laughs> you saw what I'm picking, right? I, I mean, you know. What pretty I'm much of a good idea. That, I mean, I'll just look through it, through the pack, but I'm pretty sure that's who I'm gonna pick. <laughs> a playset of the Cracklers is gonna be awesome. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Why not? All right, and I'll pass it back to you. I'm done. Look at this green. Hey, Lo, you have green in your deck, though. Look mm -hmm. at this enchantment. Mana Bloom enters the battlefield with X charge counters on it. Remove a charge counter from Mana Bloom. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Activate this only abil ability only once per turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Mana Bloom has no charge counters on it, return it to its owner's hand. So you pay one green mana and then dump a crap load of mana into Mana Bloom. 
And then, and then when it's done, you return it to your hand and then do it again. So it's pretty sweet. You might want that. So, we're definitely going to go for the rares on turn 5, because there's only 3 turns left. So, after, like, turn at turn 5, you get to pick from anything now. The rares or the 2 packs. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, so you hand me the pack back. Now... This is turn five, so you get to pick anything now, the rares or this. But So you definitely want to go ahead and get your rare, and I'm going to get my rare. So grab it. Now, there's three turns left. What do you want to do? I'm going to pick, so like, you could pick that rare again, and then, like, if we both wanted it, we'd have to roll for it, but I don't, mm -hmm. I can't have it. So I think I'm going to pick from here again, which I think I messed up. Well, uh, well, I'll pick that. So my turn five is done. Okay. okay. So turn six I'll pick from that so switch with me what are you gonna pick from I'll pick that That's a good pack. And now seven. And you don't have to, but it just gives you the turns. I'd pick from this one, I think. And I'd get this guy. So. And then turn eight. I don't think I need anything else. If I were to just go through it. I think I'm going to keep it just like this. Alright, so you get two more picks and then that's it if you want. You don't have to. Now the task is to go through your decks, go through your decks, and remove the stuff to make it fit. Because I would keep it at 60 cards. Because mm -hmm. if, if you're 65 and I'm 60, I'll be faster than you. Okay. I bet that one. Okay. So now I would replace the cards that are most priority, like that you need the most. Oops in your deck like because mm -hmm. you got to take cards out to replace mm -hmm. so I would re take out the cards that are least like the least important and put replace the most important to the least important down So I gotta find five cards to replace. There's one. Two.
two, six. Wait, one, two, three, four. Remember, you can remove a land, too. Like, you could remove a land or two, actually. Remove, like, two lands. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I think I'm good to go. I'm going to put more hate spells in it. Okay. I think I removed all the cards I want to remove. I removed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I'm gonna count my deck. Make sure I'm sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twelve, 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 Fifty-eight. Okay, count of fifty-eight. Hmm. Sixty. Sixty on the money. I knew I miscounted. Alright, so I got sixty right on the money. I replaced eight cards. I definitely will <clears throat> I definitely think this added some severe consistency that it needed. I'm gonna count my lands while she's still going through. Well this is my first draft, so it's probably gonna be a little bit crappy anyway. No, this is not your first draft. You did the Dragon's Maze pre-release tournament draft. Yeah, that draft one. Th I mean, one on my own without being, like, time. A rush. There's still 21 lands in here. So, I removed... There's still 21 lands. Look, I removed three lands and two artifacts that made lands. Cost three mana, but they made lands, and they turned into a creature. So I removed five, five cards, five cards that were mana production. They had 21, 22, 23, 24. They had 24 lands in this pre-constructed deck, which is crazy. So since we're done drafting... And put all the cards on top of mm -hmm. each other, except the rare will be facing on the top. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'm going to shuffle. I'll be ready. I'm ready. You can cut okay. my deck now. I'm excited to play. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we will turn the cameras off and take a break while she finishes, and when we come back, we will be ready to play the Enhanced Selesna Surge versus the Rakdos Raid.